What is up? It's your boy, Adam Goto. What's good? You already know, the Crusade of Ida is out. I'm super hyped. It literally is my favorite event. I think there's only been one before this one. And hey, if you need it, there's a quick code right there in the chat. So make sure to use it. Pause the video, you already know, but boom! Real quick, if you want some quick advice in here, you can go ahead, click on the bottom right tab to look at what heroes hit what divinity. I don't know if it's exactly the same as before. You could watch my previous video to see <clears throat> if the heroes are the same, but I'm almost done. I'm about to get my, my what is it, her name? Melifine, Melphone, whatever, Mel. I'm gonna go ahead and work on her with the cups and everything so that I can get, you know what? I don't remember what she does. I think it was crit chance or something. I don't know. But it looks like it's gonna be those last three divinity trees that I have most of my heroes on. The vast majority I think is gonna be on the last tree. Just look at the heroes and when you're selecting heroes, make sure to pick one of them. I think the best thing you can do is just focus on maybe one to two, maybe three at the end, different trees, and then just get all the heroes for like one tree that you can, that you happen to have most of your people worked in, and maybe even decide to work on it just for this event. Now, the rewards aren't crazy because it's a team effort. But I noticed that you do end up going in with your guild mates. So if you are in a high level guild, you know, if you're somewhere in the top 10 or something, top 50, top 100, you'll probably do pretty well in the events. So right now we're in the top 50, we're gonna get the reward. The reward's not really a big deal. You get that little chest and you get like 2000 gems, which is cool, but just the event itself is really fun to play. It's just like a little RPG where you get to power up, but that's not what this, this, this video is about. It's about summoning. I can finally have Oda Nobunaga. Right before this, Amaterasu was out. I was thinking about summoning, but I actually didn't have the gems. So I do have the gems for Oda, just enough. So I have the, the scrolls here. I think you need exactly Scrolls, but I the think I have enough. Literally revolves around so me. I got Apollo. Apollo's not bad. He is within, I think it was the last divinity tree. So I might start. I've been saying I was, I was gonna work on Apollo, but not yet. So I'll the probably do it eventually. Uh, I heard that this angel is pretty good for support. Gabriel. Gabriel? What? Looks like a girl. Anyways, I, I heard it's a pretty good support, but I, I, too many people to work on. So I'm start working on Gabriel now. It's not gonna happen. And ooh, YSS, there are people, top tier tank. There is a country. I'm already a working on this tank. Hilariously, I decided to work on him because he's a really good blue tank. And he'll go with my Odin Obunaga, but... And Archimedes has fell off hard, bro. Fell off so hard. But hey, uh, Western Queen is still, still top of the meta. So is Freya. So if you were missing those two, that's who you should have picked. I'm looking over here and seeing if I max anyone out. So I can just get anyone I didn't max. And if not, whatever. But yeah, still need more YSS, and hilariously enough, also works for the event. So I'm super hype about the YSS. Man. Let's see if I can if I can get him up and upgrade him a little bit. And no one. Well, not bad, bro. So far the luck has been pretty good, but now we can see it's getting pretty stale. So let's go ahead, collect this. We get a little pearl, and see if we get anything good on this one. It looks like I'm gonna have to start spending gems. Cleo! Alright, so I got Cleopatra. Cleopatra is a waste of a unit. Her uniform being out, it's like a special uniform. Couldn't care less. I got another Gabriel? Man, okay. So, don't really care for those two, you know? Gabriel, like I said, seems to be pretty good. Your destiny. Cassandra, I think I've had Cassandra Max forever. She wasn't bad. Another Cleo. Dude, give me YSS. Come on. It's also a chosen, a chosen unit. Let's go. Like, be cool. No, nothing, nothing. All right, I've been getting crazy Cleos, but if anything, ooh, I, I was thinking Cam. I, was that it Cam? No, not Cam. It was the Ninja. There are two susano like units that came out. One of them was Cam, and Cam has fear, so it kind of synergizes with Oda because Oda has a little bit of that fear going on. But it turns out that the other, the Ninja guy, whatever his name is, he's he happens to be used. Um, and some high pvp team so i might even like work on him eventually when i'm done working with everyone else i'm working on and here we got well, yss people, again finally that's two country. yss i a think country. i need one more Needs to up him to get him to the next rank but we'll see uh anything good here no and we're already just like throwing all of the gems oh oh is this the guaranteed guaranteed dude i only got two dude out of all the summons damn amazing all right let's hear him let's hear him Pity is most fun in war. Yeah, bro. Oda's a beast. <laughs> well, Oda's a straight beast, bro. Straight beast. 
Yeah, man. So he, he's really good for PvE, even though I like using him for, for PvP as well. But let, let's be real, bro. I'm just trying to get further in story. <laughs> For, for whatever reason, I just feel like it's more helpful to get further in story because I get more resources that way. Even though it's just such a small, minuscule amount, I do it anyways. And then here, might as well work on, on some swords because I feel like the, even though you're always in need of divinity, you can only get the swords in that one way. In divinity, you know, divinity you could get through events. You can just wait and you can buy it in the stores for the timed events. So it's not really a big deal, but it's always, always necessary. I feel like I might be working on Western Queen. I already got her over 500, but I'm thinking of getting her up to 600 because I don't. I think it's really cheap. But oh, Hanzo, there you go. The ninja's Hanzo. So between Hanzo and Cam, I think Hanzo is better because I just see him being used more. But I don't know why he's used. I, I just see that he's being used. But at this point, you know, I'm still working on other units, so I don't have time to really look at the, how how those other units are being used currently. But yeah. Let's go ahead and and see what's going on with everybody else. Ooh, almost maxing out Western Queen with the enhancements. Almost got her at 30. I'm just making her stronger so that when she buffs, her buffs are going to be based. I believe it's based on her attack and everything. So her stats matter for her buffs. Even though she's already pretty helpful even without it, I might as well get her stronger. And then I was looking at between Idun and the other green healer, Naga. Naga gives you a heal for excessive healing. Uh, I mean, for excessive healing gives you a shield, while Aiden doesn't, but I think Aiden's like heal might be stronger. So, I don't know. I see Aiden is used a lot more than Naga is because a lot of new units just dispel shields. Uh, like like Chiron here, Chiron, which is the green horse, he ends up dispelling shields, which kind of makes Naga a little more on the useless side, but she still heals. So it's like she still does her job, but not as much as Aiden does. So I don't know between both of them, but I did see that Aiden is part of the last tree. So already, just because I really like the, the Crusade of Ida, I think I might choose Aiden over Naga, even though I was thinking the other way around. They're both pretty much at the same, uh, the same spot when it comes to when it comes to how many copies they both need. So I don't really care, bro. Their divinity is close to the same, so it doesn't matter to me. So, ooh, okay, I have just enough gems to do this again, so I might as well roll. Like I said, if I do get this, I'll probably just get Mel. And if I get one copy of Mel, I think I need three right now to get up to level 50. So if I get one copy of Mel, that'll be cool. If I get this custom SSR chest, I'll probably go Freya. Uh, all the way in the bottom here, I'll probably go Freya. Maybe I'll go Western Queen for the extra buffs maybe huh yeah maybe maybe i'll go nephi because she's a she's a mage that i use a lot as a as a dps support which could heal and and reduces magical resistance so she's always a good option maybe even susana who knows but right now i kind of just want to focus on freya because freya does huge damage to bosses so crazy single target damage so freya is the person i definitely want to work on first all right let's see what i got here Honestly, the summons are not bad. I feel like it's kind of at a discount if I get the summons. If it's not, then maybe it's equal. I don't know, but hey. And then I don't care for anything else. So the summons would be good. The cubes would be good. I don't even care for the uniform, but it'd be cool because it's limited. Oh, I thought I had it for a bit. But hey, got the cube, got the summons. The, the money was a waste. But, hey, it's all at a discount. Might as well play it while I can. And then uh, the chest, like I said, would be good. And so would Mel. But... Damn, I only got one arrow left for the discounts. Got cubes. Honestly, not bad. I'm totally okay with getting cubes. I'm totally okay with getting extra summons because what else would I be using gems for? It? You know, in any other case. But yeah. So yeah. Oh, actually, I think the cubes might have been like 125 on the discount there for the daily. So maybe it wasn't worth it, but I, I don't really care. And then here, maybe I'll make this a whole other video. I have enough, but I do have to get lucky to make sure to get the, the blue orb and then the gold prizes in the bottom left and bottom right, respectively. So yeah, good video, man. Like it, subscribe, peace out.